Hello mga ka-edu! I am Crystal and I am your storyteller. Are you guys ready? I'm going to tell you a story entitled Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sanda. Are you guys ready? One night, Max wore his wolf suit and made a mischief of one kind and another. I am the King Wolf. Come and hail me. I am your master and you must obey me. <laughs> you also bounty, you can You can escape my domain. Huh. That's it. <laughs> Little thing, I know you're scared. He's too scared to respond. Wait, we are I guess we'll just No, this is not. Since he's not a wild thing, Word from you! Christine! King of the Wild! And 
now. Let the wild rompers start. <laughs> As what Max said, the animal romps wildly with his lead. From morning until night, they played non-stop. No sleep, no meals, or even a small time to rest. All of you now stop! Go find your spots and sleep! I wish I'm with someone who really loved me the most. What's the smell? It's really good. It's settled. I'll quit. I'm not your king anymore. I must go and goodbye. No! No! Don't go! We, we really need you. I mean, we love you so! No! 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 Hello mga kedu! Let us now further understand and analyze the story. Did you guys love the story? Mmm, me too. Let us now understand. Here we go. This is book by Marie Sendak. This is entitled, Where the Wild Things Are. This picture book is in 1963, illustrated by Marie Sendak. This was first released by Harper and Rowe in hardcover. Numerous times, including in 1973, animated short film, the book has been transformed into other forms of media. Sendak received the Caldecott Medal right here from the Children's Librarians in 1964. Honoring Wild Things as the year's most distinguished American picture book for children. It was once again chosen as the top picture book in a 2012 survey of a Readers of School Library Journal. Now, let us proceed with the elements of the story. So, who are the characters of the story? The characters of the story are Max, his mother, and the wild things. Now, what is the settings of the story? The settings of the story took place in House of Max in suburban America. Also, it took place in moonlit forest surrounded by a vast ocean inside the bedroom of Max. Let us now proceed to what is the theme of the story. Now, the theme of the story is it is surrounded by the strong idea of imagination as Max creates a new world in which he can control his own destiny and escape from reality. And what is the conflict of the story? The conflict of the story is Max is forced to deal with the effects of his rage when his mother sent him to bed without dinner. In the land of the wild animals, he confronts his feelings head on before coming to a decision and leaving for home. Let us now proceed with the exposition, rising action, the climax. 
the falling action and also the denouement. The exposition of the story in this book are when his room growing vines, trees, and other exotic plants until it was a whole new world. The second one is the rising action. It is when Max's personalized boat comes and takes him to the place where the wild things are. The climax of the story is when Max lands where the wild things are and became the king. And what will be the following action? It is the short book is when Max smelled good smells and decided to go back home in his little red boat. Let us now proceed with the personification of the story. Max's emotions are personified as the wild things or the fantastical wild things in the story. So let us now proceed by criticizing this literary piece by using these guide questions. What does Max do in Where the Wild Things Are? He sails to the land of the wild things, which are huge monsters with claws, not frightened of anything. Max tames the wild things, who agrees that he is the wildest of them all, and they make him their king. What did Max's mother call him the night he wore his wolf suit? His mother called him a wild thing. What grew in Max's room that very night? A forest. Why was Max sent to his room in where the wild things are? Max gets sent to his room without dinner for disrespecting his mother. What does Max threaten to do to his mother where the wild things are? His mother calls him wild thing. Max threatens, I'll eat you up, and gets sent to his bed without eating. Why did the wild things say to try and make Max stay? As he boards his boat to head home, the wild things try to get Max to stay. They ganache their teeth and roll their eyes, saying, we will eat you up, we love you so. Why does Max leave the wild things? Realizing he is lonely, he starts to feel homesick and must return home. So he gives up being king of the wild things. Max decides to return home, only to find out his supper waiting and it is still hot. How does Max change in where the wild things are? Max mastered his emotions for the time being when he doesn't respond to the wild things teeth gnashing and claw bearing as they beg him not to leave. Instead, he hops in his boat and, with a wave and a smile, sails back to his real life, calmer and ready to go along with the rules of his household. What does Max do in where the wild things are? He sails to the land of the wild things, which, with huge monsters with claws, not frightened of anything, Max tamed the wild things, who agreed that he is the wildest of them all, and they made him their king. What are the life lessons from where the wild things are? First, don't judge someone or something by his or her appearance. Second, there is a wild thing in all of us. And that's okay. Third, there is an immense power in imagination. Fourth, there is always time in life to let loose. Fifth, sometimes there is no place like home. Sixth, your parents will always have your back, even if they don't seem like it. And lastly, love everything you've got. So we are now down to the last two questions. How would you relate the story to reality? We would relate the story and reality in a situation within our own abode. Having a simple quarrel between us and our parents is inevitable. We tend to follow the wild things we have, just like in the story.
But at the end of the day, we come home for the warm food to fill our hunger, a comfortable place to sleep, and caring hugs from our mother, whom we truly love. And lastly, what do the wild things symbolize? Each of the wild things seem to represent a different emotions or feelings that exist within the mind of young Max and represents a challenge that he must overcome.